you doing? Hmm? Isn't this a lovely day? Mm-hmm. It's Saturday! Ah! Welcome to September 2023. Well, we don't know how to know. <laughs> Petition to go buy Halloween and Xmas game traction. Why? <laughs> Why? But how does it work? Uh, are we still gonna put it on the 25th of uh, December or the last day of, of October? Huh? Hmm? Yeah, Greek Strong! Technical survival game, Greek Strong the War, Final Front! <laughs> Set release next year, god damn it! I was looking forward for that game! Meltdown man called after attempting to outrun police with a. S <laughs> well. <laughs> Very ambitious. As usual, welcome back to this lovely channel. And we're today gonna. Keep going. <laughs> keep going! <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Maybe some casual talk. Oh no, it seems like we are out of ginger again? Ah! Hyde? Oh, Mr. Hyde, welcome. <laughs> Hyde? <laughs> I kinda wanna believe it's like uh, uh, me as a bar, <laughs> me as a coffee shop. It's like, Hyde? I mean, it's at least stupid. Oh, hello, Andrea. It's nice to see you again. Uh, how are you? Oh, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. Alright, sorry about that. I'm just learning we are out of ginger. Oh. I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. How oh, come? Me, so so logistically organized. <laughs> and the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. <laughs> remaining roots? Oh no. Ta -ta. Yeah, that's my, my biggest problem. How the heck you make money to buy stuff that you have to throw up afterwards? Sounds like a rookie mistake, Andrea. Yeah, exactly, Andrea. How, how do you manage to make fuck, fuck it up so badly? You're a, you're a pro, man. You've been doing this for years. At least three. I know, I'm uh, ashamed. I'm a... Uh, <laughs> I was still a chief in having pro much cash and future power What? <laughs> Wait, our storage system is having a problem. What? You have a storage system? Why have a storage system? Damn. That's fantastic! I will love a storage system! <laughs> Unless I stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy, usually. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the flock of customers! <laughs> As you can see. Yes, well. Nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week. If I may say so myself. Oh. Well, I'm listening. Pardon? <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> Tell me all about it. <laughs> first thing first, would you like us uh, your beverage? Oh, um, I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. <laughs> um, after all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard stories, am I right? Uh, right. Well, Ouch, my ears. Well, the most notable problem recently will be these uh, severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our powers to short out, which messes with the uh, machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There's also been this um, ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently there's a serial div letter. <laughs> Dev letter! A serial dev letter! Of tires of the loose. Officer Yogi was the one who informed me about it. We also got a lot of new customers. And uh, I think that's about it. Sounds, even uh, sounds eventful, even if not uh, terribly riveting. Uh, how regarding the car vandalism you spoke about? Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Um. I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... <laughs> I can answer that! Yogi! There's nothing to worry about, your car is gonna be fine. Officer Yogi! Welcome! <laughs> hey, Andrea. I managed to track and narrow down the bundle strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a fiery spot. 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 Really? Yeah, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. That's so. If she comes back and you ask her where she parked? Will do. I appreciate that. 
Anyway, my investigation is still ongoing, but I say this area is pretty safe. Uh, you, so you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, you all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. Because it's time to start a new one! You mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, meet officer Yohi! He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers! Kinda of interesting, I always assume all, everyone know each other, especially from the old game. But I kinda of realize some of them actually never meet each other, right? Because uh, I remember that Yohi only meet Gala and not Tide. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles, a friend of Mr. Gala. Ah. The big hospital guy, huh? Then I guess I've seen you around a bunch. Uh, Los Angeleno? What? Ah, uh, uh, the fuck that means? <laughs> ah, Los Angeleno? Eh? <laughs> Not for much. Not for much longer, though. Oh, I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. That's wonderful news. You lived here before? Um, for about 40 years. <laughs> when you moved to LA, then. Around 20 years ago? Right. Huh. <laughs> Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. <laughs> oh, like, oh! Modest vampires, gotcha. Hey. Then as a native uh, Seattle tea? Let me be first to welcome you back. Uh, we got smog- <laughs> We got smog and <laughs> Two skies. <laughs> ah, my favorite. But at least our coffee is second to none. Why, Andrea? <laughs> of course. I'll let you be the judge of that. Thank you. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then have you moved in already? Or still in the face? Not yet. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. Wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. <laughs> I actually uh, I remember reading the stories about him having a hard time to purchase the house. You have to do some sort of inspection or something. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you have any help, let me know. I can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? What is? What, what is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a bad rap. Contentious relationships in the past. <laughs> oh, oh, um, oh. <laughs> Was it a slap on Teresa? Let's call it uh, a day type of thing. Or the catch you, catch me kind of. <laughs> catch me, catch you kind of. Well, I can say live long enough and you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> so, does anyone want something to drink? Of course, naturally. Um, <laughs> um, awkward. After you. Oh, well, a public servant should put the citizens. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is citizens with reaction? So, after you. How idealistic. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will be, officer? Just give me something nice, Andrea. Something nice? Are you alright? Uh, not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now, I got a question for you. Did you, by any chance, see a lighter lying around? Oh, yes, I did. I have it with me. Phew, that's a relief. Okay, Andrea. Listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Okay? I need that ladder back, okay? Okay, I mean it. I need it back. Sure, just fucking take it. <laughs> You're a <bully. laughs> Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, this streak. Uh, bad luck. Well, eh. Pardon me. Just so to myself. Okay, yeah, I understand. I appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened. To be honest, I'm quite curious if it. Uh, what happens if I don't give it to him? It's like ah, I totally forgot. <laughs> Sweet coffee. Ugh. I'm sorry, <laughs> just <laughs> honey and coffee, I don't know. I mean, it's still sugar, don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, it's kind of weird seeing that thing. <laughs> like, this chunk of, <laughs> chunk of honey. Uh, I mean, I even had, like, rock solid sugar. Finally, hello, old friend. Thanks, Andrea. I suppose I owe you an explanation. 
I told you before, right? This light is my lucky charm. Yeah, it's from your grandpa, if I'm not wrong. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Wow, that's uh, rough. Broke Temisu's favorite mug. I nearly swerved my car into the sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. Uh, black cat! No, you a raccoon! <laughs> that's your problem. I swear I'm not making this up. <laughs> it's not a raccoon! A black cat! If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what it is. And, well, those are still mad at me, too. Uh -huh. I guess the problems are being piled up, my fellow Yoi. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, Andrea. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers, Andrea. That really hits the spot. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestion? Um, uh, we have a couple of new teas if you are interested. Oh, there are butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that is uh, easily palatable when using a hot beverage. Perfect, make me something with that. Are you sure? We are missing some ingredient tonight. Do you have any specification in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and... Uh, who knows? <laughs> Just make it red. <laughs> I, let me put some blood in it. Ha ha! Ha! Maybe it can be my new blood wine. <laughs> blue bean? What the heck is blue bean? The same blood wine? A blue bean? Blue bean? It's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you came up with. <laughs> more more red than this. Cool. <laughs> more red than this. This is not possible. <laughs> Super red. Hibiscus tea. Have, have the gala. Best galas, isn't it? The apartment key. I see. So he lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him I was in Seattle though. So the call was a surprise. What did he call, you ask? Well, I simply because I have his spare key. I'll take this off of you and bring it to him then. I will be sure to let him know. Alright, thank you. Here you go, sir. Something red! <laughs> Something red! <laughs> so this is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but uh, this is the best I can do tonight. Looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's a thought. Uh, astringent? <laughs> Astringent? Um, not even sure what the synonym of this word is. Uh, out of curiosity, I'm gonna chain, uh, check. Slightly acidic or bitter? Or causing contraction in the skin cell and other bodily tissue? I'm gonna assume he simply says slightly acidic. Sure hope so. Do you like it? You tell me. Ah, and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry that isn't what you expected. So there was no way to make him happy. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time you could try making me something that doesn't taste like hey you. <laughs> I need some boldness. What the heck you want? Something that can leave a mark in me. There's only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. I will try my best next time. I'm, I'm guessing it's because of the ginger. It's probably the ginger. Welcome. It's probably definitely the ginger. Hey, kid. There. Damn. Damn. Oh, um, dang. Hello, Andrea. Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. You know what? They let me move over there. <laughs> there we go, now we have everything in one single screen. There we go. Sorry about that earlier. I was, um, preoccupied. Uh, no problem, is everything alright? Yeah, of course. I'm always alright. Always. <laughs> always. Because <laughs> I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever, ever come back? E Driona? Yes, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stop? Um, I did. I gave her your written content info. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. She threw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great. 
You're trying to reach the soprano less. That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went, so I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Okay. So I guess I'll just have to wait for her to contact me. Huh? <laughs> I think so, yeah. But what if she doesn't contact me? Well, what should I do? <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> that's their choice. Oh, you are so right, Pops. Didn't think you have, uh, you are someone that would have trouble reaching out to people like this. <laughs> I know, right? It is what it is. Okay then, I'll wait. Any Hoodle, it's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Hello to you to um sir. Hi, it's Hyde. Wait, so you are really that Hyde? <laughs> wait, so you <laughs> you are really that Hyde? <laughs> wait, what do you mean by that? The supermodel Hyde? A ah, big shot, huh? <laughs> oh man, oh boy! I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. No offense to you, Andrea. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> My coffee shop is premium! <laughs> well, I follow your social, man. Big fan! I especially love the timeless series you did on uh, for Boundless. <laughs> hmm, that's an old one. Boundless? Uh, it was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. <laughs> what was this series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displaying a time travel team's showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through. So they were retimed and put in a magazine instead. Yeah, those were awesome. Uh, I like how the series show peak fashion through the times. Yeah, the designs were so contemporary. Timeless even. Pun intended. I love to see that. Wait, let me show you a couple pics from it. Hi, looks great there. Colors. <laughs> Colors or not. Oh, wow. You look amazing, Mr. Hyde. Still do. <laughs> I'm still look amazing. <laughs> of course. It was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style, too. I'm partially for the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. <laughs> Glad you helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those items again, even though only in a garment form, even though I was left with a melancholic feeling. But I digress. I digress. Was digress, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Would you like to order anything? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, by the way, uh, is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt, uh, a tad nauseous. Do you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so I still shouldn't be consumed at an empty stomach. Ah, uh, of course. That was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted, thanks. Then, can I get a pumpkin latte? Wait, do I have pumpkin spice or some sort of spice? Um, sorry, we don't have that here. Oh, for real? You know, you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? Uh, oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was... <laughs> I assumed you needed it. <laughs> Oh, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an <laughs> but I have an open mind. Just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making something based on a pumpkin latte with what you have? I remember it's uh, it's definitely coffee with uh, cinnamon and milk, right? Because I I actually had it once. I think it was uh, in Bragg's. It was not too bad, to be honest. Cinnamon latte, a cinnamon latte warm and sweet just for you. Sounds good. How oh, was it? Angie? Angie? Angie Lumi? <laughs> good call on the cinnamon. It's the star spice of all the fallen season after all. Oh yeah, you're right. Like pumpkin latte. Yeah, I remember having cinnamon on top of it. I, I remember the conceive the I remember having the strong taste of cinnamon the first time I tried it. Um, don't hate it, don't love it either. The warm cheers me right up. Thanks, Andrea. Don't mention it. So, what's the matter? Huh? Why do you need to cheer up, kid? Oh, about that. Just the usual work stuff. It's so loud. If you disagreement here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a reviewer! No, I'm a blogger slash influencer. I really hate you somehow, Lucas. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the make making the easy. <laughs> Ah, uh, I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, 
It's sad around the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also? <laughs> no, no, no pops. <laughs> no way. Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? Just think they are the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. It does really get it works very well for children if I'm not wrong. But as you as you become older I think it works much less. Because you'll be like, uh it's just like it feels stupid and unfunny. So I guess uh, it depends on public to a person to person. So you're essentially the creator of the host of your show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit secure sponsors and massively boosts the production quality. They are great, all the melons. <laughs> I don't have any like that level of uh, professionalism. You think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. I currently, I currently, uh, currently reside in LA. For real? I did too before I moved here. Why do you move? Why I moved? <laughs> Business. I mean, because I hate it there. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> not to crap on where you live, sir. Just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. What you hated there is a long and sweet story. Does mean you don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers here. They are loud, young, and brazen. Just like you! Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you are able to make something of yourself out of such mundane. <laughs> Nonsense! <laughs> Ouch! I was like, was well, is my business, mate? I say you are doing pretty well. As what's the issue? Well, I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Uh, yeah, you say your views were dwindling? Clearly dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah, that's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though. I've been wanting to change the show direction for a while now. Even promised myself last year. Once I got a certain number of viewers, I was just going to do it. Was? Well, I always wanted to do a talent showcase segments, you know? So I could help elevate others like me. Others like you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the first thing popped in my mind was like, if you cannot find or do anything original, find people that can do it in your stand. <laughs> Make them give other people opportunity to become famous. <laughs> and by using that thing, you can you can basically make con free content. It's basically free content. <laughs> like the soprano lady from before, like those dwarf actors and actors in TV shows. Well, actually, kind of have something in common. You know what it is. Uh, I'll make it easy for you. Think about Sagittarius, for example. Andrea, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? <laughs> if you saw the, the first episode, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Like, look at you. Call me crazy. Call me fucking crazy. If you actually go on Wikipedia and you Google Satai, you're actually gonna find some picture of them having a huge balloon. <laughs> a huge, you know, sting, stong, <laughs> a big ass Schweizer, <laughs> a big ass Bustel sausage, <laughs> a big ass pigarig. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, yes, yes. Mythology. Uh, um, don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, pop sir? Probably parting, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? I think I know they are very famous. Well, sorry, they are very good at the playing the lyre, right? I, they're very good at playing music, if I'm not wrong. Is that what you think? No, but that's what most society thinks. It's the same way society views Lady Riona as a bad luck personified. Well, just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society, society, society is awful. I'm just kidding. The immediate trust they have for those who have money, compared to those who had to start from zero. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
I mean, I get it, you know. Ethique, social cues, awareness, and so sort of things. What nurture you when growing up reflects these things. That's what most people like to assume, anyways. I mean, you cannot really take away the prejudice of everyone. You'd be an empty mind in that case. Wasn't that a philosophy cutting in the same family line? I like. I get it. Nobody has any time to learn about everybody, so we go by impression. But someone who started from zero, and now the difference of how people treat me is so damn stark, so damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know. Of course. Oh yeah, I wanted to cave a space in my work, a place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. <laughs> to any big, to any big YouTuber, please expose me. <laughs> give us some of that exposure. <laughs> Uh, I'm still unhappy with uh, with the content, so let's let's work on it a little bit more. <laughs> then maybe we change the idea or simply we throw everything out of, out of the window. And that'll be a sad day, but uh, it is what it is. Then once again I ask you, what is the issue? My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Um, uh, meh. It's not too bad. To fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. Yeah, no, that I believe actually your your idea is actually may likely work better. You wanna try something different by time to time. And you agree? I mean, they are not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become a big that any slight changes will affect us as much. Will the world a way for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um uh, This is why I like hide so much. I mean <laughs> it's much more practical. <laughs> you see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But uh, a given pace at which you are going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have uh, good intentions, well, that's another story. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? Am I wrong, though? It is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit I don't... I don't know much about entertainment beasts. Don't worry, Yoi. We are in together. I know. I don't know anything. Also, I'm a total inept in this whatever thing you call business. Where <laughs> you got that this far, boy? Because of all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. And I want. Uh, yeah. That's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's, uh, well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Well, actually, no. <laughs> I think more the more blunt you are, the more impactful it is. You just need to think, just have it in your mind so you think about it, right? Nah. I need to uh, whipping. The whipping! Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. Andrea, thank you too. Hang in there. Yeah, you'll too. See you around. Peace. Well, I <laughs> stayed too long already. <laughs> so I better go to do my work now. Don't want to get my pay dog, you see. Nice meeting you, Hyde. Well, see each other. Uh, we'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully nothing work-related. <laughs> Have a good night, officer. You too, Andrea. Uh, be safe out there, officer. Will do. Until next time. <laughs> I suppose she'll leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. Huh? Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Seems our officer accidentally drops it again. God damn it. <laughs> it exudes an interesting feel. <laughs> God damn it, Gyoji! Ah, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself, Andrea. Safe trip out there, Mr. Yind. 
Oh, I can read. Ah, damn it! No! My stories! My likes! <laughs> I shouldn't read the stories! <laughs> oh, I forgot about it! <laughs> Dang it! Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you... <laughs> I hope you enjoy this uh, lovely evening with uh, Mr. Hind, Lucas, and Yogi. And hopefully, in the next episode or next, next, next episode, we're gonna give back that uh, uh, lucky charm to our fellow uh, of officer. And uh, as usual, thank you for watching. And have a lovely day, lovely evening, and go lovely bye. <laughs>